Managing Director of SVG Air, Paul Gravel, admits that the airline has been plagued with financial challenges in recent times. However, he maintains that despite a video being circulated on social media, SVG Air is not considering pulling out of Grenada market. SVG Air is a national airline of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, along with Mustic Airways. It operates 17 aircrafts with bases in Grenada, St. Vincent and Antigua. Mr. Gravel says the company has been losing money over the past 20 years and they are now considering several options. We're not pulling out. The issue was that the company has, has been losing money for 20 years and we've been appealing to past governments that we need help, we needed to raise the fares, that we needed some taxes reduced in order to try and keep the fares down. Um, that the Islander, which is made in England, the company in England is in trouble, and if the company goes out of business, we won't be allowed to fly that aircraft because if an aircraft is not supported by a, a company that's in business, it cannot be used in a commercial service. And we have seven of these 19-seat twin otters. That is what we really should be using for the Grenada service. But um, the way it's cur currently structured, there's no way we can use the 19-seaters in Grenada because the fare's too low and the taxes interregionally are too high for us to work with um, the current situation. He says, meanwhile, SVG Air will remain in the skies. At the moment, we're still going to continue to fly. We have four of those 9-seaters, the, the Britain Norman Islanders. And we're continuing to provide the service with those for the moment. MP for Carrico and PT Martinic Affairs, Kendra Matherin Stewart says, meetings were held on Tuesday with the manager and they are now working on a solution to have the airline remain in Grenada despite the challenges. I met with Mr. Gavel and the uh, manager, Mr. Lendo, at my office at Legal Affairs. And we discussed these issues. Now, there are two things that are on the table. The request for a waiver of taxes for persons traveling between Union Island, from Grenada to Union Island. And secondly, the issue of subsidies to ensure that the 19-seater, if they decide to use it here, would be a viable option. Those options um, we will be discussing um, with the government, the entire government, and it's something that I intend to raise and to bring in cabinet for deliberations and for the way forward. She says it would be a travesty of justice to not have connectivity between the islands. To ensure that we have this viable service available for the people of Petit Mar Caracol and Petit Martinique, it would be a travesty of justice to have not one company fly between Caracol and Grenada. And so as a government, we will do whatever it takes, or whatever we have to do, of course, within certain guidelines and within certain parameters to ensure that there is connectivity, constant connectivity between Caracol and Grenada. So um, it was only yesterday afternoon that we've had that discussion and I'm yet to bring same to initiate a conversation with our Prime Minister and, of course, the, mem the, the, the rest of the Cabinet. But rest assured, it is something that is high on the agenda and I will raise very soon. The parties will again meet on Thursday. Eugenia Peters, GBN News.